The vines of the Mandragora are holding a young woman aloft in the air. Ah, the dream. The vines are wrapped around her legs, her waist, and her arms. God, and some people else. have all the luck. <laughs> her hair is short and soft pink. Like, sorry, soft pink threw me off. Like primroses. It catches in the breeze. Pretty. That's all that she's thinking about in this situation? <laughs> yeah. Now that I know what she looks like, I'm ready to help. She won't be pretty for much longer. <laughs> if the Mandragora succeeds in crushing her to death, there will be one moment where I'll be the most turned on I could possibly be. <laughs> oh. oh boy! Oh, there's the full there picture. There she is. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'll eat you. <laughs> All right. Should I take it from here? Uh, yeah. sure. Because that's yeah. her, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, they pull four times. Wasn't it? That is her, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, are you here to help me? That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Gonna upstage us. <laughs> <laughs> the woman um, looks at me. Her eyes are large. Her tits are <laughs> large. <laughs> Hopeful. <laughs> her eyes are oh, large, boy. but her tits are bigger. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Her feet are dainty. Oh, oh no! Oh, Don't sorry. get me started on her arches. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Well, what can I do? I can't turn away and walk now. Or I can't turn around and walk away now. I'm right up next to her. Oh boy. Nope, sorry, I'm off duty. <laughs> That's how <laughs> life is. Clock. Bye. <laughs> are you gonna oh. pay me overtime? No, <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would cut it. If I don't step in, she'll die. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'll help you. Fucking I unsheath my sword. And draw my it's... blade. <laughs> and draw my... <laughs> Both scream. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Holy shit. It's fucking so good. You can thank me when I've defeated that monster. Now. Watch out. Put that woman down, or you won't live too very long to regret it. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's not like the man Gorg Gorsbor can understand common Talian, or any kind of language for that matter. You could <laughs> the, say they're pretty stupid. The, Mandra the Mandragora is like, Que? <laughs> <laughs> yep, no kind of language. Que <laughs> dijo? <laughs> All this monster can do is shake its vines and spew pollen and hold up women. No lo entiendo. Uh, I can't. I can't. Put another joke in the vault. Oh well. I can at least say I tried to settle this diplomatically. <laughs> you can't! Uh. The Mandragora snakes its long, thick vines out towards me. Dick vines. You <laughs> see? It tries to grab a hold of my cankles. <laughs> no! Not before oh. ten. Oh, why did I have a fight? I didn't mean to say that. Oh god. Too slow. You're too, You're too slow. slow. <laughs> okay. My hair makes me look like a blue blur. My green eyes make me look like the blue blur. <laughs> my shitty attitude. You guess it. <laughs> I jump back, avoiding them, and slice the vines in two with the blade of my sword. Thank God. Ho hopefully it wasn't the hilt. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. The severed vines begin to leak sticky sap. Oh, of course they do. No. <laughs> Enraged, perhaps in pain, the Mandragora starts shifting, swaying. It sends more vines after me, and I dodge them all. I dispose of them with the slightest flick of my wrist. Slice, slice, slice. Um, Mary Sue, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much perfect. I hit all the weak points and do a million damage. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to hit me, but I have a force field. <laughs> the Mandragora's like, I, me yo! <laughs> it tries to communicate, but I'm too far in now. 
The Mangragora can't move very far. <laughs> it's rooted to the ground, the perfect target. Though its vines are long, it has a limited range. I dance about, hair catching in the breeze. I look hot. I should probably get a cut, actually. And sever each and every vine, saving the head for last. Senorita, no, por favor! <laughs> The only senorita you're going to see is hell. <laughs> wow, you're so amazing, Lady Knight. Be quiet, you're... <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I am so glad that I, I did not know her personality when I agreed to voice this character. <laughs> Be quiet, you're distracting me. Wow. Fuck. Those tits on my face. <laughs> They're not even church sanctioned. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't yeah, realize I was violating dress code. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my tank top? <laughs> no, it's. I mean, it's great, but it's just if the church didn't give you the clear, then I don't know what to do. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Cheer you on quietly from inside my heart. <laughs> oh my god. But also kind of yelling at you about how much I'm cheering you on quietly. Uh huh. Yeah, no, th thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> Great. <sighs> Got another fan. Uh, now thoroughly crazy, half mad with pain, the giant flower monster spurts out pollen. Ugh. Thick waves oh. of the stuff. Yeah. Thick ropey uh, waves yellow. of the stuff. I pretend not to enjoy myself. <laughs> I hate what I'm doing to this person. I don't know what it does, and I don't want to find out. But it's too late, I'm coated in the stuff. <laughs> oh, I mean, I jump back. I'm out of the pollen's range, at least the worst of it. It will still get carried by the wind, and the woman's just... You know, she's caught in it now, but... How do I approach it? Oh, do we have choices? Ooh. Oh, cool, I hope so. This would be easier if I was a mage. My mother always wanted me to study magic. She was a mage herself. A white mage who worked for the Central Spinel Church. <laughs> That's the largest church in Talia if you're taking notes. Unfortunately, I have no magical powers. I can't even shoot sparks from my nipples or anything. Oh. <laughs> I can. <laughs> can you please be quiet and teach me that later? <laughs> Show me first, though. <laughs> Being able to conjure fire from with- I also, I- <laughs> She's saying all this aloud. loud yeah. one. Uh, being able to conjure fire from the thin air would be a useful ability right now. But that's what the dragon thought when it killed that village. <laughs> Mandragoras, being plants, are highly susceptible to fire. They burn very easily. Just like the- <laughs> What the fuck?! <laughs> It. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh no! Just like the village of Freycross. <laughs> Funny little thing. She turns no, to the camera and it. winks. What are you saying about a village? I didn't hear you. It's just a place that. It, don't worry about it. it I, I'm not going to think about it. You, you won't should find it either. in any modern maps. That was almost. <laughs> Can the people that leave was... there? At least, could you tell me about that while you're doing battles? <laughs> <laughs> they wish. I taught them a fake language pretending I knew everything. <laughs> Doesn't matter now. That was almost eight years ago. Huh. Span donkey, my imaginary language, almost took off. But it's irrelevant. <laughs> I narrow my eyes, assess the situation, decide to leave, but then come back. The Mendragora, still covered in a veil of yellow pollen, prevents me from getting too close. Throw your sword. I can tell in its leafy, vegetative mind, if it indeed it has a mind at all, that it thinks it outsmarted me. The vines dig even tighter into the captive woman, trying to squeeze her to death. Not before me, villain. <laughs> <laughs> the girl gasps. It sounds like she's suffering? I'm Qu suffering. <laughs> Question mark? Oh, she's suffering. <laughs> Sorry, I can't a horny disease. <laughs> <laughs> hey, same hat. I can't allow a fellow horny to die. Not on my watch. I won't allow that. Hmm. Maybe this will work. 
Hey, drop the girl! <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I swing my sword! Yeah! <laughs> Hard. It drops to the ground. I pick it up again, throw a little harder. It displaces the air, clearing out a thin path in the pollen between me and the mandragora. Now run up and punch it. Yeah. The mandragora shifts, its large flowery head turning in my direction. But it's already too late. My Kokoro has gone through <laughs> step by step. hee Just like that. Why is it zooming in like that? I slowly step forward. <laughs> Dashing through the slim opening my strike afforded and jump the mandragora panicking sends a bevy of vines after me How many vines this thing have three, but I ignore them <laughs> How many does it have ten I can't count any more than that I Focus on the flower the vines crush me to death. I bring the sword down. Wait, what? It splits right through the large open flower in the center of the mandragora. Oh, okay. P put the sword down into it. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. The mandragora thrashes in pain. Its vines crumble in on themselves. The young woman is released. She falls through the air, and I dash forward to catch her in my arms. Then Whoa. I go oops and let her fall. <laughs> JK, I catch That's her. That's how life is. <laughs> <laughs> you better learn that. Have you not had your whole village burned to death and have someone tell you that? <laughs> I hold her against my chest and carry her away while the mandragora dances itself to the death. To the death. <laughs> what? Oh, what? thank you. That's... Jesus. Okay. And during this scene, I'm just gonna put some, like, faint Mexican music in the back. Please! Of those <laughs> That's the song my sword plays when I unleash my final move. <laughs> the woman's unconscious. Thank God. The plant must have squeezed the air out of her. Fortunately, she's still breathing. When I'm a good few five feet away or so from the crumbled plant, I lay the woman on the ground. I sit uh, beneath the shade of an oak tree. The ground is covered in fallen acorns. I stare at one thinking, will you gain sentience too? <laughs> Upon closer inspection, I realized my hasty first impressions were, indeed, correct. The acorns have gained sentience. <laughs> Plus, this woman, 10 out of 10. She's young. Maybe 19, 20, 30? Really bad with ages. But she has smooth skin and pink-colored hair. She's about 8 years older than that girl I told to fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I examined Jeez, her I wrists. they're not the same. <laughs> I examined her wrists, her ankles. Just generally the rest of her body. There are red welts crisscrossing her skin, no doubt from the mandragora's vines. Well, they'll heal soon enough, I guess. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I sheath my sword and turn. I'm ready to walk away. When? Uh-oh. Oh, Lady Knight. God. <laughs> ah, she's awake. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> huh, she's sturdier than she looks. I note that for future reference. <laughs> Are you just going to leave like that? If this if this thing has like a Yuri ending, that's gonna be so fucking hype. I hope so. <laughs> Me too. My my expectations are sky high now. <laughs> <laughs> huh. That was the general idea, yes. I haven't even had a chance to apologize. <laughs> well, normally I'd like it if people I saved would apologize for getting in the trouble that they're worth. I have to ask, for what? For party rocking? <laughs> yeah, for party rocking. <laughs> Never apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, for getting attacked by that plant and being so, you know, like, violating the dress code. Obviously, you had a problem with that. Look, God has a problem, not me. <laughs> it was my fault, really. I'm usually so careful about my party rocking. <laughs> I tried to keep it at an eight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never want to go to like a ten, or else you never know what is going to happen. Like a dragon yeah. might attack. That, you know, it's funny you say that, because the city of Freycross, <laughs> well, let's just say a dragon got a little too excited. <laughs> Uh, a dragon party rocked too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it made me XD though, so I guess we're okay. You know, like Rar. <coughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck, I'm starting uh. to get attached to this pink haired woman. <laughs> She's pretty cool. <laughs> I know this uh. forest like the back of 
my hand! I've never been caught by a Mandragora before! <laughs> well, like my mom says, just because you've never been hit by a car doesn't mean it can't happen. Oh, God! Um, I don't know about this magical car of which you speak. Nah, don't worry about it. My sword can also see the future. Uh -huh. This forest is literally behind a freeway. Just turn around. <laughs> yeah, it's just right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I suppose, but uh, this is really embarrassing. Yeah. Well, I mean, what? Sh should I have let you die? I mean, yeah, that's how life is. Um, what? Whoa. No, of course not. <laughs> I take a step back. This woman is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I was really happy when you came to save me. It was like something from a fairy story. <sighs> Look, I simply did what any concerned onlooker would do. Most of the concerned onlookers just go, wow, the city's burning, there's nothing I can do, and then harass young children and walk away. Um, and we both <laughs> know that's not true. <laughs> no, I've never done that. <laughs> uh. Not many people would have the guts to face down a monster like that. <laughs> people can surprise you. I put on my sunglasses. <laughs> you certainly surprised me. I'm so happy. I want to repay you somehow. Oh. <laughs> With like gold, obviously. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I, <laughs> I make gold. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the woman gets to her feet, but her ankles are weak and she stumbles. Ha <laughs> ha, I chuckle a bit. It's a good thing I'm there to catch her, or she'd been making a sudden appointment with the ground right What now. the f- What's this writing? What is this? <laughs> I- She acts like one of our D&D characters. Oh my god. Uh, it, it seems you saved me yet again. <sighs> you should be more careful. Don't let your injuries get the best of you. Uh, yes, I... I will. I promise. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I have little faith in the promises from, of people from Talia and less to people who wink, say wink, and look at the camera. <laughs> uh, but what are you gonna do? Well, if that's all, I'll, uh, be on my way. Oh, wait. Please, wait. Oh, right. My autograph. Or, I guess, I don't know. What, what What is it now? You can't just walk away like that. Watch me. Yeah! <laughs> I was walk hoping closely. so hard she would say that. <laughs> like, rude, but I'll, like, all right. If you want me to look at your butt, that's all I had to say. God. I got a mean oh. sway. I'll show you how it's done. Stand back. <laughs> Hear this trip sanctioned? Oh, yeah. I hate when she leaves, but I love to see her walk away. <laughs> but, but you saved me. I need to thank you. Holy crap, I don't need any thanks. But you were so strong and brave and definitely <laughs> wouldn't walk away from a burning town that was, you know, hit by a sudden dragon attack, just like a real warrior. Hmm. Wait. What? I think that's what? To be like. Oh. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a real warrior, huh? <laughs> she pauses and then Oh my. Oh no. I know you. You're the lady warrior, Arcadia. Isn't that right? <sighs> I'm afraid you have the wrong person. My name's Smarkade. No, Smark it really is you. I'd recognize you anywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> My older sister's a big fan, and she has a wooden carving of you she bought with three months worth of her pocket <laughs> money from the traveling market of Melora. Good Lord, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you, you know that's a bootleg, right? <laughs> oh, then... <laughs> No way! Are we writing this game in real time? <laughs> We're writing it. We are. Oh, oh bless. Shit. Oh, then she was ripped off. Likeness of my face is hardly worth that much money. See, I knew it. You really are, Arcadia. Look at that coy like, little cat out. I like her face right there. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn. I, um... I, I don't know what you're talking about, miss. 
You don't need to call me miss. My name is Cecily, and I am very glad I met you. Oh, great glory. Yeah, Arcadia is fine. Oh, but this is incredible. She's so excited. She's practically jumping. I guess. What? <laughs> I simply have one. to go home and tell my sister. Celesta will be overjoyed. Huh. <laughs> well, don't let me keep you. Tell your mom I said hi. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? You're coming too, of course. Oh, Oof. God. Okay. Of course. Doesn't help she's waving that gun in my face. Yeah. <laughs> she makes it sound like it's something ordained by the stars. Something that can't be altered by any man. Not even the great Arcadia herself. And why do you want me to come with you? Um, because you did a great thing for me, and everybody in the village will want to thank you. Ugh, I don't think that's a very good idea. Villages turn to orgies very fast. On the show. <laughs> <laughs> no! But C C Cecily, right, isn't Cecily. listening? Yeah. Cecily, yeah. I get the vague feeling listening isn't one of her strong suits. Very good at feeling, though. <laughs> Touching, hmm, <I> tasting, <laughs> just listing things that might come up. <laughs> I blush, sweat, and note that down. <laughs> you must meet my sister and my mother and grandmother. She's kind of a gilf. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> like, well, I can't turn down such a... That's <laughs> <laughs> the village chief will want to see you and all the young children and the men and the women, too. Hmm. We've all heard your legends, and we all want to meet you. It would be like a dream come true. Huh. <sighs> Some dreams are better left unrealized, is what I'd like to say, but I'm Nonsense. accepting her request. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up and come with me. Shut the fuck up. And say swaggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we going to say it? It's been a lot in my village lately. It hasn't rained nearly enough, and it's been so hot and dry this summer. We're just walking around with like barely any clothes on. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> uh, now Good say word. swaggy. <laughs> swaggy. Thank you. There is enough water to around. <laughs> to around. <laughs> starting to lose hope. <laughs> If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking up where you're putting that. <laughs> but if you were there, Arcadia, then I'm sure that everyone would be very happy. It wouldn't change the fucking water supply, though, but I'll prove that life can be... It'll prove that life can be good and great, and maybe even my sister will get better. She's, uh, she's sick? Yeah, she's yeah, sick. She'll, she'll she come with me. She can do oh, so many kickflips. I can't say no to that. She's the sickest. <laughs> She's minute, been so. rat as hell for a very, very long time. <laughs> the only thing that makes her happy is her woodcut of you and also her fucking skateboard tricks. Fuck. Oh, uh, God. That sounds badass. <laughs> yeah, it's so badass. It just kind of loops back around to being bad. Shit. I turn to one side. Suddenly awkward. You'd think I'd get used to being an... <laughs> Idol flips hair after spending so much of my time in the spotlight. Ah, but apparently not. I just want a quiet life, really. Maybe with a cat or two. Yeah! Oh, so you're gay, then. You're gay. Great. Um... I mean... <laughs> yes. 100%. How did you know? <laughs> uh, I'm getting old, too old for this nonsense. Why am I letting this girl get to me anyway? Everybody in Talia has one sob story or two, but... Ugh. When I look in her eyes, I feel myself getting swayed regardless. Then I look <laughs> down a bit and I feel aroused. <laughs> well, let's and go. I, and I see swayed. them getting swayed. Really yeah. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, what a pain. I was out in the forest for Celesta, actually. I was looking for some mugwort and ladies' purse to make a painkiller, you see? It's the only way she can get through each day now. You know, she's so badass and shit, she keeps, like, banging her knees on fucking everything. <laughs> I was so worried I must have forgotten myself. I walked right into that mandragora's den. <laughs> oh, oh. If, if I died, I don't know what would happen to Celesta. Huh, there was mother and grandmother, yes, but she 
She needs me. She loves me. We're sisters. Uh huh. Cecily takes hold of both my hands and smiles. You did a very great thing today, Arcadia. And uh, I'm sorry. It's Acadia. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, Arcadia. <laughs> You didn't just save me, you saved my whole family. I can't thank you properly, and I don't have anything to give you. But if we went back to Fairside, you could be compensated <laughs> amply. <laughs> what do you keep shaking like that? <laughs> <laughs> Great choice of words, but I don't do this to make money. Wink. What about love? <laughs> There we go. My voice lacks conviction, and so does my outward sexual energy. <laughs> it's like a DBZ aura. You can see that shit. <laughs> my sexual nan energy. <laughs> but there's no conviction left. Cecily has drained it all for me. That's the only thing uh, fucking drain. Oh, uh, out of context <laughs> screenshot. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. She's a skinny woman, but her face is awfully determined. Her eyes are narrowed, her brow furred. She's earnest and means well, but she's also stubborn and self assured, and absolutely won't take no for an answer. She's also rather attractive, which doesn't hurt. Oh, gay confirmed! Easy. <laughs> Her fingers, laced with mine, are soft and warm. Whoa! <laughs> please, Arcadia, please, for me? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I swallow. <laughs> Just gonna stay like that for a couple seconds. There we go. <laughs> I want to turn my head, but I can't. She's exactly the kind of person I'm oh, looking at. Oh, she actually is gay. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh Looks god. Like it. Oh, this is a good game. Forget Mandragoras. It's girls like Cecily who be the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Forget Mandragoras. Focus on the Mahamanagadongs. <laughs> 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 oh boy, this will be fun. Forget Mon Mondragoras, let's look at the Mound of Gourds in front of me. I tried, okay? <laughs> yeah, Bye. That was a good try, that was a good try. Thank you. Yeah.